In this episode, Curiosity explores a giant dune field, takes some stunning images, and approaches the entrance to Murray Buttes. Still squarely within the Pahrumpf Hills region, Curiosity finds more evidence of cross-bedding. Due to the angles of these layers, it's more likely they were created by wind rather than water. On Sol 1099, the rover looks toward its main objective, Mount Sharp. The lighter colored rocks in the distance are the oldest in this image and have been heavily eroded by the wind. A large portion of the other rock variations present are thought to have been formed by water. While looking for the best way to get up the mountain, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter spots a huge dune field. The team at NASA decides to send the rover to investigate. From its current position, Curiosity can see part of this dune field, the dark band in the midground. The team at NASA gives it the informal nickname, the Bagnold Dunes, named after Ralph Bagnold, who crossed the Libyan desert and was one of the first explorers to acquire a deep understanding of the physics behind sand dunes. In this map, we can see the true scale of the Bagnold Dunes. Curiosity will explore only a small portion of it. As the rover moves closer, it captures this stunning image, with Mount Sharp looming in the distance. But first, Curiosity has some drilling to do at a site named Big Sky. The rover takes a selfie in celebration of a successful drill. On Sol 1176, Curiosity reaches the edge of the dune field. This is the first active dune system studied up close on another planet. Scientists observing the dunes estimate they are migrating by about one meter per year due to action from the Martian wind. The rover carefully dips a wheel into the sand. This close-up image of the dune portion disturbed by the wheel shows finer grains of sand below the surface. This close-up shows an undisturbed portion of the dune. We can see that only coarse surface material remains, after wind action has removed the smaller particles. On Sol 1197, Curiosity comes across a very steep dune which the team names Namib Dune. The thing which differentiates dunes from the usual sand deposits, such as those the rover was nearly stuck in at Hidden Valley, is that dunes are steep enough on their downward face that material can actually fall down the side of the dune. Before we go on, here's a quick message from our sponsor. The good people at Henson Shaving are giving you 100 free blades with every razor purchase. That's enough to last most people three to four years. Their razors are precisely engineered to give a smooth, comfortable, and safe shave. This is all possible because of the tight tolerances they work with. Most razors on the market are designed to fail meaning you need to keep buying another new one. Henson razors come with a lifetime warranty, so there's no need for a costly subscription and the razors are free from harmful plastics. Follow the link below or enter the code ELDERFOX at checkout to receive your free blades. Curiosity takes a sample of sand from near the Namib dune site and takes a selfie to celebrate. The coarse material from the sample, which was too large to fit through the rover's filter, is dumped onto the ground. The team waits until nightfall to take an image of the dumped material with artificial lighting. This lighting makes it easier to differentiate between the darker and lighter grains. Curiosity continues the journey up the base of Mount Sharp, reaching a site known as Nowcliffed Plateau.
On Saul 1276, Curiosity comes across some knobbly, textured sandstone within Nowkloof Plateau. These nodules seem to be more resistant to wind exposure than the surrounding host rock. It's the first time Curiosity has come across this type of pattern in Gale Crater, but it has been spotted by previous rovers on Mars. It's likely these are what the team at NASA refers to as blueberries and are made up of a mineral known as hematite, which suggests the presence of water in the ancient past. From its position within Nowcliffe Plateau, the rover takes a long-distance image of the northern rim of Gale Crater. The image is taken during sunrise, when dust in the atmosphere is relatively low. On the lower portion of the crater rim, we can see valleys, channels, and debris fans, much like what we currently see at the base of Mount Sharp. This leads scientists to expect that the entire crater was once filled with water. Curiosity takes a full circle panorama at Nowcliffe Plateau. The rocks present here are dominated by thick layers of wind-blown sand suggesting that these deposits formed during a drier time on Mars. On Sol 1315, NASA orders the rover to complete a wheel health check. Since the last wheel check, nearly 300 sols ago, little further damage is observed, meaning that the rover planners are doing a great job of selecting easier terrain for Curiosity. As Curiosity comes close to completing four Earth years on Mars, it hits a milestone of two Martian years studying the planet. During this time, Curiosity has been studying Martian seasonal patterns. As you can see from the graph, Mars is much colder than Los Angeles. The height of the bars represents the temperature difference between night and day. During the summertime in Gale Crater, daytime temperatures can reach a survivable minus 10 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. However, on the very same night, temperatures could drop all the way to minus 70 degrees Celsius or minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Curiosity also takes measurements of atmospheric pressure. This data will prove to be extremely useful if NASA ever wanted to send a helicopter to accompany a future rover. The rover takes a drill sample at Nowcliffe Plateau and looks toward Mount Sharp. We can also see some leftover rock powder, the gray substance on the surface, dumped by the rover after it did not pass through the filter. After a big drive, Curiosity arrives at the gates of a site known as Murray Buttes. Curiosity will pass through here to access higher areas of Mount Sharp. In the next episode, Curiosity gets up close and personal with Murray Buttes, finds a Martian meteorite, uncovers evidence of fossilized Martian mud, and witnesses multiple dust devils. Click here to watch. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Remember to like, share and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest discoveries.